Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we will see this sum in isometric. Now in this, length is 100, which will come on right hand side. Width is 95. And height is 70 plus 25, 95. So first we will start with this part. Height is 10. Then it goes inside. Now how much is that length? We don't know. From here we know it is 10. Then it goes up by 10. Here it is 20. Then this length is 70. Then you come down. So this is how you will get this part. Then from here you take 40. Then you draw vertical line. Here also you draw a vertical line and you'll get this part. Now this, this line will go inside at 30 degree. From here you draw inside. From here it is inside by 30. This is how you'll get this part. Then you can take this up. From here also I can draw this up. So we know it is behind. This entire part is behind by 30. So we have to start from here. Right? Now this is 40, 15, 40. So if you see 40. 15 wait i have made one error in terms of width i have taken 85 i'll take 95 now i'll take 40 15 40 then you go inside Then you go line, then you draw line inside. How much it would be? 20. This is straight. So how much is this? 20. So this is how you will get that slot. You draw this part. Now I'll draw a vertical line. Here you draw vertically up. Now we need to take 50-50 because we want to draw radius 25. So we'll take 50-50. So from here I'll take 50. From here I will take 50. And I'll complete the rhombus. This will be dark. Since we have this 50-50 we can draw rhombus. We can draw longest diagonal. Always remember we are drawing circle by four center method. We'll mark midpoint, midpoint, 
on one side and joined to the opposite corner. We can write that corner as 1 and these two midpoint as M. This is second point, this is third and this is fourth point. So from 1 to M we can take radius and we can draw R. Then we can take 3 to M and we can draw radius. It's slight error of 1 millimeter, but that's okay. This is called working error. Maybe there is some or the other problem. Now what we'll do, we'll extend vertical line from midpoint and again draw parallel line from M. So we'll get the center point. And now from that center point again we'll take 15, 15, 15, 15 on all four sides to draw inner circle. Then follow the same method to draw in a circle. I'll write this point as 5, this is 6, this is again MM midpoint, 5 to M. We can join. So we can take 5 to M and we can draw R. See 5 to M we can draw R, same way 6 to M we can draw R. Then from this point, that point I can name as 7 and this point as 8, so 7 to M, the inside one and we can draw R and 8 to M. So we'll get this circle. After that, we'll extend this point behind. See, we can first we will draw tangent. Now the same circle we want behind. So what we will do from point 1 and from point 3 will go behind by how much? 70. Because the width is 70. We want the same circle after 70 mm. So we'll take point 1 and 3. 70 behind. So this new points are 1 dash and 3 dash. Now what I will do, I will take 1 to M, original radius. See, take 1 to M and from 1 dash you draw R. Same way I will take 3 to M and from 3 dash I will draw an R. Now this point I'll go behind by 70. So we'll get this part behind portion. Now see how much is this 70, midpoint and 5 on both the sides because the width of the rib is 10, draw vertical line like this and horizontal which is parallel to 30 will be like this. Now how much is this behind 30, so now from 1 you will go behind by 30, you can mark that point as 1 double dash. This is one double dash. You go behind by 30. Take one to this radius and from one dash you draw arc. This is the tangent what you will get. After drawing that arc from bottom you draw this line that will be tangent. So this is how you should draw a rib. Always go with the curve part first and then you draw tangent. 
now the width width is how much 10 mm so you take 10 mm 10 mm on both the side or you can draw parallel line whatever you feel comfortable and you can draw this so this is how it will appear we can darken all the lines so we are done with copying isometric of this sum i hope you people have understood this thank you